How to make a creamy and cheesy crock pot mac and cheese. You know what time it is. Stop playing. Let's go. Using a pot on medium to low heat, add your milk and your heavy cream, followed by one cup of each of your shredded cheeses. Stir your cheese sauce until it becomes smooth and cut your heat down to warm. Using your nonstick spray, just spray the inside of your crock pot. Now you're going to add your uncooked macaroni to your crock pot, followed by your warm cheese sauce. Then you're going to stir your macaroni several times to ensure that it's completely covered by your cheese sauce. For even more creaminess and flavor, you're going to add two teaspoons of sour cream, one teaspoon of golden spicy brown mustard, your Kobe and Monterey Jack Cube cheese, a teaspoon of your Parmesan cheese, and all your cheddar cheeses, your black pepper, and your McCormick's Cajun seasonings. Mix all of your ingredients until well combined. Finally, you're going to add one to two teaspoons of butter and stir well. For your topping, you're going to add one to two teaspoons of all of your cheddar cheeses. Sprinkle on your smoked paprika, your black pepper, your McCormick's Cajun seasoning, and add your top to your crock pot. Set your crock pot to low and cook for two to two and a half hours. Okay guys, this macaroni and cheese has been cooking for two and a half hours and it's time for the big reveal. Look at all of the seasonings and the butter and how the cheese has melted on top. Look at how creamy and cheesy this macaroni and cheese is. And to think it was cooked all in a crock pot. You have to give this recipe a try. How to make a creamy and cheesy crock pot mac and cheese. This is Deshanta B. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to check out music producer Marcus Soul Premier Raymond. Contact him through his email and SoundCloud. And until next time, remember to always keep it moving. You know what time it is. Stop playing. Bye guys.